Hi everyone, this is Dr. Williams here again. Hey, I want to talk to you about feeling better and improving your mental health. Because if you're like me today, it's the day after uh, the holiday break and I'm feeling a little bit sluggish. So I had to just sit back and take a moment and think about some of the things I could do to eliminate that sluggish feeling and feel a little bit better. So, of course, we're um, back from the holidays, Thanksgiving holidays, and if you're like me, you may have had one or two too many slices of cake. So the question is, are you too full? Are you still full of food from the holidays? And if that is the case, that may be a reason why you're a little feeling a little bit sluggish. So the thing to do is to get up and take a walk or a stretch just so that you can um, kind of eliminate that and of course you know there are other things you can do to eliminate uh, too much food in your body but I'll let y'all figure that one out and another thing is are you sleepy because when we are not having to maintain our regular work or school schedule then we may stay up a little later uh, we may sleep longer during those holidays, and it just sort of throws off our regular schedule. So are you sleepy? Have you been getting enough sleep? You know, there's a connection between um, your physical health, meaning what you eat, and also the lack of rest. So you definitely want to get enough sleep. And then the other thing you want to do if you're feeling just a little bit anxious or unsure of things today, uh, take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Uh, breathe in, uh, hold it as long as you can and blow it out really slowly. And that kind of helps to relieve, uh, reduce some of the tension that you may feel. And then there's, it's always a good thing to do something nice for someone else. And then finally, are you always holding your cell phone? I catch myself a lot of times when I'm not at work, holding my cell phone constantly, looking at it, looking at TikTok, looking at Instagram, reading Twitter. It is not a good thing. So if you're uh, someone who's out, who always finds your cell phone in your hand, then you want to look at that. You want to consider whether or not that's the best thing for you to do. So I hope these few tips are good. I hope they help for you so that you can feel better and improve your mental health.